Okay, Micho fans, it's that time of the year where we look back on the preceding 12 months and I pick my favorite moments. The most nostalgic moment, my favorite piece of Americana was at White Rose in Linden, New Jersey. What they serve at White Rose is the original modern hamburger. This is not some hamburger from a state fair or that was cooked in someone's kitchen, you know, in antiquity. It's a replication of White, White Castle started selling in 1921. It's like a historical document. Stepping into it is like a museum of hamburgers. Why does a cheeseburger need to be anything more than this? It doesn't. So to me, the slider is a perfect food object. You're not wanting to be anything other than what it is. It's absolutely perfect. It's everything you need in the moment. The most impressive dish to me this year has to be the foie gras at the pool. Now, foie gras, people love it. It's really rich, it's decadent. I'm not the biggest fan, to be honest with you. To me, it's so obvious it's just fat, and the way it's often served is just so, you know, they just sort of rely on its real unctuousness, but they don't actually do anything to it. Well, what Rich does is he, he makes it into these delicate ribbons. When you're eating like a big piece of foie gras, it's like solid, it's thick, it's rich. This is much more airy, it's much lighter. It really just sort of floats above the palate in a sense. The texture is remarkable. Even just putting it onto the chip, it feels like as if there's nothing there at all. It's almost like air. Incredible. Okay, the dish I could not stop eating, even though I've had it dozens and dozens of times, was the Keen's Mutton Chop. It's a dish they're famous for. It's basically two loin chops, uncleaved. So we're shooting it. It was mid-afternoon. It was like my second or third shoot that day. I'd been through a few calories, as you can imagine, and I could literally not stop eating it. I ate the entire thing. All the other steakhouses abandon mutton in favor of beef, and why would you order this over? The beef they have here is USDA Prime Dry Age. It's the best beef you can buy, expertly cooked, expertly seasoned, but this dish is probably the highest expression of the Barnsley chop in America. I don't know anyone else is doing anything like this. Most extreme has to be, as it always is every year, whenever I go visit Josh out at Moo Ramen, he's got some crazy concoction. What I'm suggesting is that the most extreme thing I ate was the 90-day dry-age fat, percolated, sous vide, confit, prime rib thing that we did at the beginning of the year. It actually tastes much more like a steak than a piece of prime rib. Now, prime rib is generally slow roasted. It has gentle, soft roasted flavors. This does not have those. This is like, boom, like dry age. And see if that was an aberration, but I don't think it was. This is just one of the best pieces of meat I've ever had, period. It's almost as if we could do a whole show just based on those visits. Anyway, I digress. So another banner year for me. My cholesterol level probably jumped up several points. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more meaty content on Eater. It's a Rolls Royce.